Hi. Uh, I believe this is part four of uh, Muhammad Quran is Amazing by Christian Prince. Yeah. Well, you can't see it from here. But anyway, if you don't want to sit through this thing, uh, being that it's in a series, and you just want to see the whole thing, un I mean, without any interruptions from yours truly, <clears throat> then go to Christian Prince's... Uh, YouTube account and uh, this video again is called Muhammad Quran is amazing and uh, you should be able to see it uh, the reason why I'm breaking his uh, videos up is because they're incredibly long but they're very informative about Islam which is why and very informative in such a way where if you uh, really uh, study the Quran it'll be hard to be a Muslim um, Again, he's a native, from what I said in other videos, he's a native Amer Arab speaker. And he really knows the Quran and the Hadith. And I've had him as a teacher for at least 10 years on the internet. He used to go by the name of uh, uh, Investigate Islam. <clears throat> Who knows what his name is in real life? Who knows what he looks like, of course, being that he exposes Islam, I can see why he would uh, not show his face. Or his name. So, anyway, I'll uh, continue this, and um, I can't put a link. I'll try to put a link in the description so you can see the whole thing without interruptions. Here, okay? Bye. All right. Mr. Bird, who is running away from Suleiman? No, he says, eh, "Certainly, I'm going to severe do severe penalty for him." or execute him imagine you are not showing up in the army your boss he eat you as barbecue huh imagine you are a soldier in his army and just because you did not show up in the morning your boss he will make you a barbecue and yummy yummy and he eat you unless he bring me a clear reason hey. Look at the justice, guys. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. I mean, how Suleiman, how justice he is. If you give him a clear reasons for you being abstinence, he will not punish you no more. What do you want more? I mean, what do you want more? Seriously. So Suleiman, he was wondering, where is this bird? Where is this bird? I'm so upset. I'm going to execute. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> this is the part of the Quran, uh, a little further back, talks about uh, talking ants that actually speak like humans, and that Solomon can understand their language, and know what the one is talking about. Instead of using chemicals and vibration to communicate, these ants are talking like something out of a Pixar movie, if you know what I mean. So... Anyway, I'll continue here, because that's what he's... And then, anyway, uh, he's now talking about the part of the Quran that comes after it about uh, uh, a certain bird that Solomon had, had in an army. So here, here, here it goes, here. Yeah. Cute him! And then the bird, he came back, and he told Suleiman that he was serving. He was doing jihad! He was doing what? He was doing jihad for Allah. Yes. And the jihad was including finding women who have no hair in their legs. And the hub hub he came back and he said to him, Oh my king Suleiman, I was abstinence because I was looking around for you. And I found there a woman ruling over them, provided with very rich uh, throne. And she has a magnificent uh, throne. I found her, her people worshiping the sun beside Allah. Satan made their deeds seem pleasing, pleasing in their eyes and has kept them away from bath. So they received no guidance. The guy was the poor, the poor bird, he was doing jihad. 
he was looking for a woman who have no hair in her legs and he found her but the, the sad part of the story those people they worship the sun and this is where the muslims they are quoting for us science any muslim <clears throat> You know, if you speak to Ahmadiyya about how stupid his book, right away he will say to you, uh, John the Baptist was Elijah according to Jesus. <laughs> you know, they jump right away from the topic to escape it because he tried to change the topic. His Quran is stupid, his prophet is dumb, and his religion is crazy. And the only way is to jump, to run. Mr. Ahmadiyya, do you want me to show you how your Muslim website of the Ahmadiyya says that the sun sits in the murky water? Huh? Cowards? Who is the brave Muslim he dared to call me immediately right now? Or to put his hand up in pal talk and talk to me? Any Muslim? Who is a brave Muslim? All of you are a bunch of potatoes, cowards, and you don't dare. You are not even proud about your God. You are ashamed of him. This is why you don't dare to care, to call. All of you are text terrorists. You try to fool Western who don't speak Arabic. And by the way, if you show them what the Muslim scholars they say about this, they will say to you, "Ah, you know, he's a man. He's wrong." But what, the Quran is in front of us. What do you mean he's a man? Was Muhammad a man or he was a god? Who is the one who told you this story, Muhammad? He get those verses commentary from the web. I mean, should I get it to you from where? From the sky? If it's from the web or the library, is the web have a box which is your Muslims put in your library? You see how stupid they are? He is saying to you, I get my interpretation for those uh, verses from the web. So where I will get it? You are in the web too. Why you are here? What I should do? Is the is the is the book I'm quoting from the web is a book, or it's a fiction too? Huh? Let us do it. As long quoting from the web is hurting the Muslims, Abdul. Let us do it. Huh? Let us see what the web says. What do you think, Abduls? Now we got we got this uh, first miracle busted. Which one, guys? We should it choose? Let us go back. Which one? Choose for me. Which one you think <coughs> it's a good one to talk about? <coughs> uh, uh, people in YouTube, do you see the screen? Do you see the screen? Which one of those miracles you like me to get busted? Choose one. Anyone. Your choice. I'm waiting for you guys. Which one you want me to get busted? You see, there's many. Which one? Paramide. Somebody says the paramide. Let us see the paramide. Where is the paramide? Here we go. Let us see the paramide. The secrets of the paramides. Ooh, that's interesting. The Quran is the book who discovered the secrets of the pyramid. I mean, how amazing that is. That's nice. Yeah, I never saw this one before. Let us see what it is. And the Pharaoh said to his people, I have not known a God for you other than himself. So Haman light me a fire to back a clay so that I could build a, a, a rise high enough. Maybe I see Musa's God, 
whom I think is a liar. How could, and this is the miracle now, guys, how could an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known that the high, the high blocks were made from packed clay, then cast like modern cement? Ooh. Man, let us go to the Quran and see what the Quran is saying and get the Abdul busted. This is a chapter 28, verse number 38. 28, 38. All right, here we go. We go to the Muslims at Tafsir. Where is the Tafsir? Hold on, at Tafsir. Uh, and I will show you the translation. I will show you everything. I mean, it's amazing, guys. I mean, how how this man, he is illiterate, he can do that. Quran 28, 38. Just to show the Muslims, I'm not quoting different verse. All right. Continue. Does it really say what they are?